Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. It's Kevin here and I'm a little blurry. I have not made a video since Camp Nano ended so I just wanted to do a little, a little bit of a video, a little bit of a sit talky video. I don't know where I'm going with this. Talking about how Na Camp Nano went and like what I'm going to be doing now, what I'm going to be working on now. And things of that nature. So let's just go ahead and start with how did Camp Nano go. It went... Look, my goal was to hit 25,000 words and I got like a little under 12,000, like almost 12,000, like really close to 12,000. And I was gonna say better than I expected, <laughs> but like, I guess I technically expected to hit 25,000 since that was my goal, but I didn't hit that. So maybe not as good as I expected. I don't know, I feel good though. I did a write 10K in a day challenge that I'll link um, somewhere up here if you wanna go ahead and watch that video. And I really enjoyed the process. It a little, it brain fried me a little bit afterwards. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of went through like this whole like couple days where I couldn't write, but I enjoyed the process, and I think it was a fun video to make and a fun video to do. And like it was just, it was fun and stressful and fun, which pretty much summarizes summarizes up that video. But you should go watch it anyway. However, I didn't hit the 25,000, but I hit like 12,000 basically, and I'm happy with what I got done. I like what I got done, but what I will say is that I have not gone back to work on that since. So that's really how Camp Nano went. But now what is next? And I got 12,000 words in my adult contemporary romance kind of thing, the Hollywood book. I don't know what it is, honestly. It's probably just commercial fiction with a romance subplot, but that's something I'm gonna worry about like later. Uh, I'm just gonna write the story I want and then maybe let my agent take the reins with that and decide like how to try and sell it. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. People try to explain to me the difference and I'm just like, I still don't really know because I think it might just be because I don't, I haven't finished a story and I don't really know what I'm doing with it yet. <laughs> well, I don't know. And you're probably asking like, Kevin, what do you know? And like, honestly, I don't know what I know, nothing. Well, now that camp's over, I have to decide like, am I gonna keep working on this or move on to something different? And what I am gonna say, well, first of all, what I'm gonna be focusing on, focusing on now that Camp Nano is over or has been over is I got my comments back from Laura on the witch book. And the witch book is so close to being done, and at least like to my agent. And so I'm gonna be focusing on finishing her comments, and that's gonna be like the first thing I do. And then after that, I'm gonna focus on my agent's comments whenever I get those back. However, sometimes it can take a little bit for an agent to get back to you. So in the meantime, I have to decide what I'm gonna work on. Now, this is something I struggled with a little bit because I did wanna work on the Hollywood book but I really am craving working on my adult fantasy book. But then I was listening to like this playlist the other day that reminded me of this other um, young adult contemporary book I had, idea I had. But then there was this other young adult contemporary book that popped in my head, The French Money Pit, which I haven't talked about in a while. And then I, <laughs> I came up with this other idea for like this kind of fantasy -y idea. Basically what I'm, what I'm saying is I'm struggling deciding what to work on next, if I should focus on the Hollywood book or move on. And I kind of was hard on myself the other day, like thinking about it and thinking about like, do people think I can't stick to one project? And I keep jumping around, blah, blah, blah. But the way I look at it is it's really weird talking about like what you're working on on YouTube. Uh, on AuthorTube because if you think about it, like how many writers start a project and then decide to shelf it and move on because that project wasn't right? A lot of people do that. I mean, not everyone does it. There are writers that don't shelf projects, but a lot of writers do shelf projects, myself included, either permanently or for a short period of time. And something that I think you don't really realize unless you make AuthorTube videos is that when you shelf those novels, you have to talk about that to the people that are subscribed to you. And it's kind of like this crappy feeling because you don't want people to be disappointed because when you announce a new book idea, people like get really excited for you. Like I have subscribers that, in, like genuine friends and subscribers that get really excited for book ideas that I tell them about or I talk about on my channel and then I decide to shelf it <laughs> or decide to put it on the back burner um, or trunk it, whatever you call it. And then I have to then come on here and say something like this, where I do talk about the fact that I am either trunking or backburnering or, trunk or um, shelving a novel to either come back to later or never come back to. I would say I only have like one novel I'll never go back to, and it's nothing I've ever even written on this channel. So if there was a, a project of mine you were excited about, like most likely one day I plan on going back to it. But it is still a weird 
um, feeling and thing to have to do. And maybe this is just an issue with me because I do end up back burning a lot of novels. Maybe I do. I mean, I know I do. But the thing is, like, I, like, for instance, The Witch Book, I started years ago before I even started AuthorTube. Then I backburnered that and came back to it while I was on AuthorTube because I got this urge to just work on it and finish it. And I did. Well, it's almost, like, it's, it's basically finished, basically. So it's like, it's almost done. It's weird also. <laughs> so, well, let me, let me backtrack. So that's why I feel like it's hard to, like, uh, say, like, oh, I plan backburnering something because I do genuinely, genuinely plan on coming back to it, but I don't know when. You know, so it's like I need to decide, are people getting disappointed? And I know, like, ultimately I'm still gonna do what's best for me because it is my writing career and, like, the books I'm writing and loving. So even if it is disappointing to some people, like, I'm, I apologize, I know that sucks, but ultimately I'm still gonna do what's best for me, but it's still something I have to, like, I, I still know people, you know, are gonna think or feel. So something that does, you know, play in my mind. Another weird feeling, though, that you get when you are trying to traditionally publish on AuthorTube is, for instance, because I have an agent, every time I finish a book, you're hearing about me talk about it all the way up to going on sub, and then I sometimes never talk about it again. Um, the Hunter book, I finished before I started on AuthorTube, but I have done a revision of it since I started AuthorTube and went out to more editors. And then the Jack book, uh, I was just finishing, I think, when I started AuthorTube. It's been so long. So that's something that, like, you guys don't hear about them that often, or unless I'm, like, offhandedly mentioning them. And another weird thing about traditional publishing on AuthorTube is these old projects that I've finished, it feels weird because, like, I know people are getting excited, excited for these ideas and, like, loving them, and then you're basically never hearing about them again. But it's, like, if you're not hearing about them, it's because I haven't sold them, and, like, there's not really anything to bring up. But it is kind of, like, a, it kind of sucks knowing that there are people that were excited to read it that, that might not ever get to. So that is something that I'm, that I'm feeling, too, about the witch book is, like, knowing once it's done, Done, once it goes to my agent and she starts submitting it to editors if it doesn't ever sell then all these people that have been watching my YouTube that have been excited about it will never get to read it so that's something that also I've just been thinking about but it is what it is I'm still gonna do what's best for me <sighs> but I just I, I don't think I'm just rambling <laughs> no I mean I'm not rambling I'm saying what I'm saying I actually feel and I, I I've been wanting to say on on here like on my channel because I do think that it is something that if you plan on doing traditional publishing and you're doing author tube comes up especially if it's someone like me who yeah I might have an agent so you might some people might think like that means you're gonna get a book published but that doesn't necessarily mean anything so every time I go on submission it could mean that that is the end of that book it is going out into the ether and yeah so something to think about if you want to do traditional publishing and author tube is this might be something that comes up also just the fact that i feel a little weird and feel a little bad that like i'm shelving stuff but at the same time again doing what's best for me <sighs> but having said all that i do want to apologize i know my voice is a little nasally today i'm dealing with allergies hardcore today took some meds took some nasal flow or whatever it's called it's just it's not doing that great having said all that i do not know what i'm gonna work on after the witch book i think what i might do is well, I need to focus on finishing the witch book anyway. So, I, I mean, until I'm done with that, it's not really something I, I guess I have to worry about. But I want to do some world building on my adult fantasy book. And I want to finish plotting the Hollywood book because I haven't actually finished plotting it, which is one of the like issues I ran into while I was drafting. And I would like to finish it, but I don't know if my heart's in it right now, writing it at least, which is why I kind of want to finish drafting it. I mean, finish doing the outline and then deciding if, if I want to back burn it for now. But I think right now, I think right now what my plan is, is to finish the witch book and then do some world building on my fantasy book and outline, finish outlining the Hollywood book. Because I want to do another write a 10k in a day challenge video. I really liked doing it and I really liked the amount of uh, work I got done out of it. So I kind of want to try and see if I can incorporate this to be a monthly video on my channel. That's really rich hilarious coming for me when I struggle to upload regularly to begin with but I want to try and do it monthly uh, partially because I want that I want those freaking stickers from the Facebook group project and if you don't know what I'm talking about then go watch my 10k video I talk about it in that video but I want those stickers so also I just like doing it it was fun I got a lot of stuff done I do want to do one of those this month and the month's like already half over and if I want to do that, I need to decide what I want to, what project I want to do 10K in. Or I guess I technically could do multiple projects. Like the stipulations don't say you have to write 10K in the same project. So that's something I can think about. I'm a little, I'm a little all over the place right now when it comes to my writing. Well, not actually not right now. Right now it's like finish the witch book. But I can feel myself slipping into the being all over the place as soon as that's done. And that, kids, it's what's stressing me 
out today. What about you? How's your day going? I need to finish reading this book for the book club and I think that reading through this will actually inspire me to work more on my fantasy novel, which is one of the reasons also why I want to do fantasy, uh, do world building for that because I'm already kind of in the mindset of it and I think it's a good time. It is a little weird jumping from outlining the Hollywood book, which is a contemporary, <laughs> to a fantasy book, which is like completely out of the, out there. I don't know. I'm also thinking, okay, look, I know I'm chaotic. I know I'm, a, I'm probably a little stressful for some people, but this is the way my brain works. I'm also thinking about maybe doing the outline of my new fantasy idea. It's a light fantasy kind of, like um, kind of like the Night Circus type of fantasy, not like a high fantasy like Kings and Queens, but like um, fantasy. <laughs> and I think I wanna work on the outline for that, at least a really rough outline. So it's for the Hollywood book, my plan is to come up with like actual plot, like what's gonna happen. When I do like a rough outline, it's more of like um, random ideas I want to happen in this and where I want it to like start and maybe where like where I want it to end, like where I wanna go, but not necessarily the whole full blown outline, if that makes any sense. The way I outline can be very chaotic sometimes. I should do a whole video on this sometime because I have different kinds of outlining. Just like people do a zero draft or a first draft or a speed draft, whatever we're calling it now, I can have like different versions of an outline. So I'm thinking about doing one of those for the new fantasy book idea, which is basically like a gay night circus. That is that book idea. I have to start off by finishing the witch book and I'm very close and I'm very excited. I have a really good feeling. I don't wanna get my hopes up too high because I have had two other books on sub before. Um, I've talked about this and they have not sold. I mean, they've gotten very close, both of them, and they have it. And I understand that publishing is very subjective, so I understand, but I had really good feelings about those too, you know? And so we'll see what happens with the witch book. If it sells, of course, you guys will know as soon as it's announced. <laughs> and that's all I have to say for today. I do plan on doing a video soon where I would need some people to ask me questions. It's kind of like a Q&A, but it's a specific kind of Q&A. So uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I will request that you go down to my little description thing down below and go follow my Instagram so that way when I post it on my Instagram stories, you can ask questions. Um, I want to do a video coming up soon. So I will be posting that probably in the next couple days to get questions. I'll probably post it multiple times just in case to make sure that I can get a good amount of questions. Cause I'm, I'm also just nervous that I'm gonna post it and then not get any questions at all. And then I'll be like, well, there was that video idea. <laughs> so go ahead and follow me on Instagram and look out for that. Please, I love it very much. Okay, that's all I have to say for now. How did your guys' camp go? What are you guys working on now? Are you working on your camp novel or did you decide to just shelf it for now? Like possibly I'm doing, probably I'm doing. It's a stressful time in the world for multiple reasons. Okay, I'm rambling now, so I'm gonna end this video. And I love you very much. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button below. If you love the video, hit the subscribe button below. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Goodbye. If you want more of Kevin, click here. This video is pretty cool too. If you loved it, hit the subscribe button. What are you still doing here? Go right already.